Hello and welcome back to Quarterlight. Quarterlight, if you don't know, we're just a very small YouTube channel on the internet looking at car brochures from around the world. Today, we're going to look at the Peugeot 204 um, with this English brochure and this French brochure, which we can kind of like compare the two together. So let's run the credits and have a look at those. <laughs> Okay, so the Peugeot 204, it was launched at the Paris Motor Show on the 23rd of April 1965 and ran all the way till 1976. It was a very popular um, car. It was even France's best-selling car from 1969 to 1971. The brochures we're looking at, like I said, we've got a French brochure and an English brochure just to compare, see if we can see any differences in the two. Uh, the French book brochure is actually from 1974 and it's got a French dealer stamp. The English one is from 1973. So it gives us sort of a good comparison between the two countries. So let's have a look at those brochures now. So the Peugeot 204, like I said, this is the UK one, this is the French one. The UK one showing this sort of blurred picture of the 204. The French one is a much more traditional brochure, really more um, typical of the time. Although if we look at the English brochure, it is still showing a French number plate on there. The Peugeot 204 um, was also known as Project uh, D. 12 and it came in a variety of different guises you could get saloons you can get convertibles you could get hatchbacks you could get coupes you could get estates and there was even a van version as well it doesn't show all them versions in here but um, let's open up and see what it does actually show And this is the English one, obviously, uh, very much showing a French um, 204, though, with a French number plate um, and also left hand drive. So it's not really specifically showing a UK model here, but in various different scenes. And if we zoom in and as we zoom in, yeah, this is specifically looking at the saloon, as it says there. And it straight away goes on talking about it being the best-selling car in France. So nearly 1.2 uh, million 204s travel the world world's roads today. And in the years 69 to 71, the 204 achieved the highest sales records in France. Everybody is familiar with the 204. But to what extent? Did you realise that its mechanical design is one of the most advanced in existence? Did you know that it has front wheel drive and an aluminum transverse engine? The 204 is a remarkable Peugeot success story as so many drivers have already discovered. You can rely on it for greater satisfaction. Yeah, it was front wheel drive which is quite early. It was actually Peugeot's first uh, front wheel drive vehicle. And it was the first time Peugeot had also introduced uh, disc brakes. They were just on the front, but it did have disc brakes nevertheless. So then if we turn the page, it's still continuing talking about the saloon and shows more images of that very French uh, saloon. Now referring to a town car and a country car. So let's zoom in on that page. So it's saying here the well proportioned and clean lines of the 204 saloon are well known by everybody. But beyond that, what has made the 204 such a huge sales in the French automotive industry is its mechanical engineering. With front wheel drive, the unit groups engine, front end axle and gearbox under the cylinder block and they put that um, axle and that gearbox under the cylinder block really to make it into this front wheel drive car which was quite a clever idea at the time it's saying a six horsepower 1100 cc engine explains good maneuverability in town driving responsive and excellent cruising speed and a top speed of 93 
miles per hour. So at this stage, like I said, this is a 1974 brochure. We're still using the same engine that we got at launch in 1965, which was an 1130cc engine, um, car tax, uh, slightly different in France, but it, it meant it was the maximum allowed in under the six CV tax group. Um, so it's saying six horsepower, but that isn't really, um, really correct in an English brochure, really. Um, basically, the, this original engine had 53 brake horsepower. Later on in 75, they did increase it, increase the engine to produce 59 brake horsepower by using a much more modern 1127cc engine. It goes on to say the 204's excellent road hauling qualities are due to its independent four-wheel suspension and trailing arm supports at the rear. Moreover, thanks to its front and rear anti-roll bars, the car does not heel over even when cornering at high speeds. Braking is easy, progression and sure because of the servo assistant operating at those front discs and rear drum brakes with load compensating device. The 204 is a convenient size, about 13 feet long, meaning good maneuverability and easily handling in town driving, even under the heaviest traffic conditions. Yeah, it was a great handling car for the time. It had decent performance and it also had excellent fuel economy, which all made it a very, very popular car in France. So if we then turn the page once again, it's still talking about the saloon, showing these lovely um, sort of tan seats. So let's just have a quick look at the rest of the text and that will be where we look at the saloon and then we'll look at the French one as well. So here it's now saying, young or old, nobody snubs comfort today. And the 204 saloon is the car for all age groups. Very strange little start to this text. The seats are deep and comfortable, as you can imagine on a French car, and can be declined to a horizontal position. Both the front and at the rear passengers have enough room to stretch their legs. The car is wide and accommodates five passengers easily. And indeed, it was a wide car for the class. There was more room in it than much larger Peugeots, in fact. Interior quality is a sign of comfort. Upholstery in cloth and two-tone, is it Tep Lux? Day and night rear view mirror, cigar cigarette lighter, front and rear ashtrays, wide shelf, uh, the entire length of the dashboard with glove compartment at either end, powerful heater and cool air ventilation and childproof locks on the rear. The heated rear window is optional. In short, the 204 saloon is a very complete automobile in which nothing has been overlooked. And it talks about the Tepe looks being a registered trademark of Peugeot. As you should see on here, you can see it's a column shifted um, gear lever. I do believe for the UK market only, they actually changed that in later models to actually being a uh, floor mounted uh, shift. But there we go, this is a 1974 brochure, so it's showing that still having the same uh, gear levers on the French versions. Um, although this is a picture of a, a, a French dashboard anyway. It's probably the same uh, picture they've used on French brochures as well. So we'll just have a quick look at the French version. This is the French version uh, at the bottom there. Um, it looks a very similar white car on here, although it does have different uh, French number plates on it. So it may well not be the exact same car. Um, but in the French version, we're, talk, we're talk, talking the 204 Berlin, which basically just means saloon or sedan. So um, that's really just because it's a French version. What it does show in the French version is these lovely blue seats. I'm not sure if it was even available in the UK, but it's not showing these nice blue seats on the British version. And it's also got this optional extra of the steel sunroof, which it doesn't show anywhere in this English version either. Similar sort of idea of the different 
views. Like I see, we've got the brown version on the UK one. Different you know, views like we do on the English version. And then it finally ends um, with just two pages and moves on to the estate. So we'll look at the estate version now. So now we're looking at the estate and we've got a little bit of text there. So let's just have a quick zoom in on that page. It starts off saying, you know, the 204 estate, the estate car is not a fad. It's a strange little start to the sentence. Although I guess in some ways was it a fad. We don't have many estate cars now. Everyone wants an SUV, of course. It answers practical needs and settles daily or occasional transporting problems. Its popularity is always on the increase. America has used it for a long time. Europe discovered it just a few years ago. In town or country, for work or leisure, for hauling all your business equipment, for travelling to your house in the country or on vacation. The estate car is a vehicle that never fails to serve you. It offers the elegant lines of a private car together with a larger loading area. And it was a practical uh, little car, of course. You can see as that gentleman's opening the uh, back up for the lady. Um, you can see it's a very low sill level, a very practical and usable small estate car. If we then go on to open the next page, it's still talking about the estates. Again, a good view of this um, good opening space on there, showing the practicality of the car. So it goes on to say the 204 estate, a car for all occasions. The 204 estate are the same exterior dimensions as the saloon, the same technical advantages and the same interior equipment. The only difference is that the seats are covered with aerated, caned, resistant and washable Teplux. No fabric option. The fifth door opens to a loading space of... Uh, 24.7 cubic feet moreover by folding down the back seat this capacity is doubled to 52.9 cubic feet the estate car is capable of transporting many articles whilst retaining the same maneuverability the same get up and go and the same road hugging qualities as the saloon and for those who put in a lot of mileage Peugeot, the technical experts in fast diesels, recommends the optional 5 horsepower diesel engine, specially designed for the 204 estate. Yeah, so there was a diesel option as well. It wasn't available at launch. It came out in 1968 and was a 1255cc diesel. It was, however, only available on the diesel and estate. Although later on that was increased, I think, to a 1357cc. Um, and in 1975, you could get it on the saloon as well. When this diesel was launched, actually, this 1255 diesel engine, it was actually thought to be the smallest diesel on a commercial vehicle because, like I say, it was available on that van and was a very economical vehicle. Um, diesels at this time weren't as common as what they became in the 80s and late 80s, early 90s. But still, if you wanted a diesel, the French were the kings of them, as they were in the 80s as well. They were, in my opinion at least, the best manufacturer to get a diesel from. So if we look at the French version as well... Like I say, it shows the um, saloon and the estate. It then goes on to give a bit more information about the estate, like the UK version. This time showing it loading urns and the, the fantastic loading ability. Call it the 204 brake. Brake was often used as the designation for a, a Peugeot estate cars. It then shows more images of the estate before having a look at the dimensions. This dimension page wasn't on the UK version, remember. Um, and, but it's also showing uh, the petrol and the, the diesel engine available for the estate version. And then finally ending up with the specification page like the UK one did. Like I say, this is 74, shows a nice dealer stamp. UK one 
1973. We'll just finally end with a bit of a close up on the specification page. Okay, so this is the UK specification page as the cat just jumps on the table, I do apologize. Um, and this is showing the uh, two different engines, like I said, the petrol engine and the uh, diesel engine, the XLD diesel engine. It's also showing the transmission having a four speed gearbox. And then it's also showing the disc brakes, which talk about the disc brakes on the front, drums at the rear. Remember, this is the first time Peugeot have used that setup. And then finally going on to tell us about the speed, uh, the petrol engine, one doing 86.8 miles per hour, and the diesel having a top speed of 77.5 miles per hour. And of course you can pause this video if you do want to look at those specifications in any more detail. And a final quick look at the French version um, and there is one huge difference actually. If we look at the diesel um, on this French version, it's now using the XL4D engine um, rather than the XLD. Only on the brake at this time, like I say, or a state. But it's now using the larger engine on the French one, the 1357cc, so that improved engine. Now the reason for this is that particular engine came out in 1973. The French version, the actual date of the printing is 773 for the 1974 model year. And the English version, the actual print date is 772. So it just missed out on showing that larger diesel engine in the British version. So there we go. And Misty the kitten has also been helping with this video today as well. Uh, but there you go, the Peugeot 204. A great car, great handling, great fuel economy, and a lot of space for a small car with that front engine, front wheel drive layout. Like I say, it was bigger than a, a lot of larger Peugeots at the time. So it's no wonder it was such a great success. And like I say, in France, the best selling car, 69 to 1971 sadly very much forgotten today and that's why i like doing these videos uh, because at the time it was a real champion thank you so much for watching quartz light today there will be more videos in the near future but for now we'll say take care and goodbye <laughs>